Tasting Whiskey Notes. I'm Michelle. I'm Tammy. <laughs> and we've got the McAllen 12 that we're sampling today. Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, double cast. And I generally love me some scotch, so. It's been a long time since we've done this. I know. So we're gonna, we'll probably only get one done, but we're, we might do two, record two today and just separate them. But we're both, I'm a lightweight. I don't know if she's a lightweight. Let's, let's split a shot. Okay. Rather than doing two shots each. Okay. We have to work tomorrow. Yeah. We don't want to. And no, we are not going to down anything for Eddie. Rest in peace. This is too, too nice of a scotch for that. Sorry, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I smell it. I don't know. You should. Hopefully, it's in the food mm. frame. It smells really good. I can speak. It does have a very sweet smell to me. It smells really good. So, mm. how much did this one cost? I don't know. It's been so long. <laughs> Where'd we get it? Did we remember? Mm. Mm, I don't know. It might have been total wine and more. <sighs> Actually, say it was in a sherry cask. So. Oh, I didn't see that. That explains the sweetness. So maybe that's why it's sweet. The sweetness. I always get cinnamon <laughs> with scotch. Still so oh, it's a delightful smell. I like it. But I like so spicy, it. like spices, like cinnamon. I get cinnamon. Do you? Sure. <laughs> I'm just smelling it. Because it smells so good. I know, but I'm Stop like coughing. <laughs> I smell that. You give me any other notes? Just like I would say, like fruits. I'm getting like a um, a warm biscuit with maybe some sort of fruit glazed over it, just from the smell. I'll say, cheers, I don't know. Could be. All right. Oh, that's buttery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is hot. It is peppery. But, so, but it's late on me. It didn't hit me pepper. right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I first drank it, it was smooth and buttery, which adds to that biscuit thing. You're getting good at this. But you. But I'm <laughs> not. But as it faded, that pepper just hit that you were copping. Okay, on. so I'll say I'll say ginger because ginger also gives off really? to me heat. Really? It's, okay. And it's, Do you drink it with your mouth open? Is that what it is? No, breathe it with your mouth open. No, drink it with your mouth. I don't know. That's really good though. It's not peaty. Do you taste any, um, man. It's on a sweet side, but it's not oh, overly sweet. Dude, that's so good. Man, it's a really good whiskey. Should we try a drip of water um, and see how it changes it? Um, let's, let's see if I can do that. I don't know how you can drip out of that glass. I, I Oh, oh, that's too That was probably too much. Oh, that's so delicious. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the fudge? <laughs> Maybe we should... Oh, we don't have a straw, do we? Just go dip, dip. <laughs> now Let's it's... see if I taste anything but it, water. It smells like bite toast now. <laughs> Too much water it completely kills that. Really yeah, but it didn't really need it. it anyway, so we tasted yeah. cinnamon, ginger, black pepper. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm like gonna a, just throw out dried fruits. Yeah, I got a biscuit note with like some kind of jam slathered all over it and a lot of butter, especially when I first drank it before we watered it down too much. I got a lot of like. Richness. I don't know. Definite, it's definitely rich. Yeah. Is that what, what butter is? Butter is richness? It just reminded me of like butter on the biscuit now, as well as fruit. I don't know. Let's breathe. Let's see what else. Let's actually cap it. So keep the air out. Oh, that's so cool. That was an easy open. I was expecting us to struggle. Okay, one more. Unrivaled commitment to the mastery of wooden spirits. Oh, okay. Well, I'm looking for notes here. Uh, 
It's Ol Oloroso Sherry Seasoned American and European Oak Casks. I didn't get many wood notes at all. Um, it's a warm character. Okay, there we go. The delicate and indulgent flowers of flavors. <laughs> flowers? Flowers of American oak indicate vanilla, citrus, and butterscotch. Taking center stage while the more traditional Macallan characteristics of rich fruits, sherry, and ginger provide a reassuringly familiar backdrop. Mm. So we were getting a lot of those things. Oh, look at the shape of that top. That's weird. Oh, that's good. Oh. It looks yum, like yum, yum. cleavage. <laughs> Very low cut cleavage. It's a naughty bustle. <laughs> well, let's, um, do you want to look it up online and see what other people said? Yeah. You want to okay. drink another one? Um, sure, but it will be a separate video though. Sorry, guys. Okay, we got the McCallan 12 year old double cask whiskey, which is what we were just drinking. And here we go. On the nose, classic dried fruit territory. Hello! Oh my gosh! If less intense than sherry or oak expression, aromatic butterscotch, maybe that's the butter I was getting, palate creamy and honey with some thick cut marmalade, cinnamon, and warm pastries. Dang, didn't I say that? Well, but now I don't see our, our pepper or cinnamon. I do see cinnamon. I mean, finish. Fruity vanilla and sultana. I'm not sure what sultana is. It said ginger is. on the bottle, and it doesn't say ginger there. This is what these people were, were noting, though, and I think we uh, hit that pretty closely. That's pretty good for not tasting anything for a long time. Maybe that was a good one to start with. You could pick out, we could pick out nuts pretty I'm easily. So pale. I'm so pale. Uh, oh, look at, huh? Look at me. My hair is so long and out of control, my Wrigley Field hat won't fit. <laughs> it's like just sitting on top. <laughs> but that's it for this edition of the Tasting Whiskey Notes with Michelle and Tammy. We should change our clothes now. No, no. We're going to do another one, even though we probably shouldn't. We're going to regret that later. But this way, there won't be as long as a wait between videos. Um, we'll have at least one in the can by the time this comes out. But thanks for joining us. Um, oh, wait. Don't we usually rate this from one to five? Yeah, I give it a 10. Oh, that was wow. Great. Well, that was great. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites as well. I agree. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.